Hello, hello, here, <laughs> all alone in the desert, for the very first time, I'm trying to self-shoot myself, because I'm all alone here, I thought, let me try to record this. I hope I'm at least in the camera's view, <laughs> I think I am. So, here I am in the southern Utah, in the desert. Uh, you see all this, there is a way to, technologically better way to turn the camera around, but uh, you know, I am a, <laughs> a beginner, to say the least. Well, last few days have been some hard driving and some spectacular uh, views, driving through uh, Grand Canyon region and many other interesting places out there, plus uh, going through Zion National Park, trying to touch certain uh, places of energetic significance in this region. Uh, truck has been holding up pretty good. Small troubles, uh, today I have some electric problems. That uh, small fridge which was keeping me fed somehow has failed today. Hope to fix it in the next town where I go. Hopefully somebody will help me out because looks like uh, the electrical power is not really coming to the refrigerator. Well, this journey of driving through this very arid and desert conditions, largely by myself, has been a <laughs> Uh, an eye-opener in many ways. Well, when I was young, I've been an extremely uh, outdoor kind of person. But in the last thirty, thirty-five years, uh, <laughs> largely life has been from uh, one uh, program to another program, one event to another event, one conference to another conference, non-stop seven days of the week, 365 days. We've been like this, I've lived this way, but uh, this has uh, given me a little bit of opportunity to be outdoors all by myself, surviving by myself, and now the fridge is out, so I have to survive by myself. <laughs> it's, uh, well, in the United States, it's not such a big challenge, but uh, yes. It's uh, great to be here that uh, I can show you the scenery a bit. It is very harsh kind of scenery, but uh, beautiful in its own way. Desert has a beauty of its own. Looks like Somebody's car has broken down. <laughs> For me, it's just a fridge far away. There is a car broken down on a mud track. So, let me see if I can do something for them to pull them out of that place. Ah, back as an outdoor man. <laughs> withstand the rigors of outdoor living, uh, traveling, I would say, for a on-road uh, travel without checking into any hotels, without going to any restaurants. Well, not totally uncomfortable, there is a certain degree of challenge, but uh, it's wonderful to be outdoors and out again all by myself. I hope I'm uh, at least in the video <laughs> because it's so bright and sunny, I can't even see the image on the 
screen, I hope I'm shooting myself, not something else <laughs> This is the first time I'm self-shooting. Wonderful. Uh, everybody should expo explore a certain amount of outdoor life, especially if you have children, going out and uh, camping outside or just sleeping under a tree in tropical climates would do a lot in terms of uh, your closeness to life, in terms of how the world is, not always living between the four walls and comfort of homes. It's very good to expose yourself to nature, to the elements of nature, particularly if you have children, it is uh, something that you must do, that they must have a feel of life. Life is not just us, there are millions of lives out here. They've been here before us, probably they will be here well after us. So, uh, very important to have a more holistic approach to life, it's very important that young people should get exposed to outdoor life, to live outdoors with minimum amount of support. Do it before you are too old and no good for anything <laughs> when you're still capable of withstanding the rigors of outdoor life. My best to you. Namaskar.